Happy Friday and welcome to your morning paragraphs. Today we are wrapping up the parable of the farmer scattering seed by looking at chapter 4 verse 20 of Mark. And Jesus is concluding this teaching to his disciples about uh, the parable. He says, And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of thirty 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. So this is all about the dynamic movement of God's kingdom. Those who accept the message become his people, and his people are then tasked to go out and scatter more, to grow and multiply 30, 60, even a hundred times. We can see that on full display the book of Acts, and then if you look all throughout church history, this multiplying effect, church after church after church, this growth of God's kingdom. It's so mysterious to us, but it makes so much sense to God's plan. And so for today, for prayer, pray for the multiplication of believers, whether that's around the world or in our context of West Central Michigan. Pray for the multiplication of believers. So, Lord, we lift those prayers to you of multiplication, and we praise you. You have this glorious plan that seems so insane to just about any human. (laughs) But this glorious plan of redeeming all of humanity, you are working it out, and you ask us to join you in it, to empower us to share the good news and the message. So, thank you. Thank you for your redemptive plan and your work that you have made a way for us to be in relationship with you and to multiply. Lord, we know you are over the church, its growth and direction, you are sovereign over it. And we pray for its multiplication, for its expansion, that your kingdom may come and fester in our communities. Energize your people, Lord. Energize us to spread the gospel today. That even those who might claim to be Christian, they still need the fullness and the truth of the good news of your redemptive plan, Lord. We pray all this in your name. Amen. So your attention question on this Friday. What if West Central Michigan became a field to sow the gospel? What would that charge you to do? How would you go about doing that? Just think about that. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.